Hello everybody and welcome to the Grange Head Teacher CCCU Assembly for the children of Grange in year three and year four. I am so proud of all of you. We know exactly what we're about at Grange. In fact, look at this. The G from Grange is about our great caring attitude. The R from Grange is because we are really, really always trying our best. The A from Grange is that we're always learning, especially from our mistakes. We use our mistakes to learn from them and grow from them. And the G from Grange, and you'll notice I missed out an N, but don't worry, we're coming back to it. The G from Grange is because we're always going for improvement and progress, our personal best. The E from Grange is education, which we use to help us to make great choices as we go along in our life, good choices. And the N is we never give up because we are CC learners, and that's what we are about. At Grange, and we know that at Grange, our true strength is our character strength, and Grange style character strength is our confidence and our consideration, our CC way. We care about ourselves, don't be shy about that, don't be embarrassed about that, don't let anybody put you down. We care about ourselves, we stand up for ourselves, we have confidence, and we balance our confidence with consideration, with consideration for all those around us. So We've got the CC way, and here are some Grange people of power who practice and live the CC way. We've got Ryan from Picasso for her beautiful, bright morning CC salute that just makes me so happy every morning. We've got Sammy AA for he's an amazing idea about a Grange currency, Grange money. And actually, the funny thing is we even came up with the name Grange Goujons, like you have the British pound and you have the euro. Well... We, Sammy came up with an idea of having our own Grange Goujons as a type of money. More will come from that. And also all the children giving the great Grange CC salutes is just fantastic walking around our school and just seeing Grange people. Gloria for a super Spanish attitude. Muy bien, Gloria. Um, muy bien. Shema for a wonderful drawing so beautifully annotated. Thank you so much. Nala for being brave and volunteering to take the hamster home. And Olivia for helping to organize that. And also, I just want to say, Vanessa, I'm so sorry because um, on Friday morning, this morning, you weren't there. So I thought uh, you weren't there to take the Lola home. So I got a bit worried and then I, I helped to reorganize it. But next week, Vanessa, it's you to take the hamster home. So sorry about that. Apologies from me. And I hope you can forgive me for that one. And there's the wiggle for all our Grange peoples of power. And you know, if you see somebody doing something amazing, you always tell me that. And our character strength that we talked about today is the superpower of keeping yourself calm. We have CC walking at Grange. We have star sitting at Grange. We know that we're always becoming our best. And we know there's no substitute for each of ourselves. We each have to live our best life. We can be friends, we can be kind, we can help other people, but we've each got to live our best life. So remember we said, what happens to our brain when we lose our calm and how can we get it back to calm? Now, the thing is, let me make myself a little bit bigger over here in this picture. There we go. So you can really see what's going on. Right. I had some brilliant feedback from you. You spoke about what you said. Well, you, you said what we can do to get back our calm, meditation, yoga, prayer, um, taking deep breaths and breathing out, really counting to 10, loads of things, thinking about positive things. But I think the question that I was really, really looking for is what happens to our brain when we lose our karma? How can we get back to our form? Here's our amazing brain. And I think, Afsa, you said something amazing. So shout out to Ennis Klaus, who got an amazing feedback. And Afsa, you said when we get angry, when we lose our calm, then we stop thinking. And I think that was just so brilliant because that is what actually happened inside your brain when you lose your calm. So look at my hand over here. I'm going to use my hand as a model of the brain. So you can all do this with me. So imagine this is the bottom of your brain. This is the brain stem. It's the part of your brain that just keeps you doing all the important things to keep living, like breathing. Like if you hold your breath, at the end of the day, your brain's going to tell you at some point, sorry, sorry, you're living, so can't let you just keep holding your breath. So that's your brain stem. The next part of your brain I'm going to put over here is the part of your brain that is the feeling part. 
Now, this is the part that, you know, when you're a baby, if you're hungry, you cry. If you're tired, you cry. If you're sleepy, you cry. If you're wet, you cry. Because this is the feeling part of your brain. If I feel what, so I feel hungry, I feel so hungry. Right, now, look, this, if you look at a picture, you'll see, if you look in, like, if you do some research, you'll see, this is what the brain actually looks like. Because this part, of my fingers, that's the thinking part of my brain. And the thinking part of my brain wraps around and protects the feeling part of my brain. So let's go through that again. Hope everybody's with their hands with me. Brain stem, keeping you alive. The feeling part of the brain, thinking part of the brain, protecting you. So when you are hungry, this is what happens. It always works bottom up. Hungry, feeling part of my brain goes, I'm feeling hungry. But now if my thinking part of my brain is there, thinking part of my brain goes, okay, I'm feeling hungry. I can make a plan. If I'm at home, I can go to the kitchen, see if there's something to eat. If I am in school and I'm hungry, I can say to the teacher or the educator, I'm really hungry. And then they can tell you, okay, it's only five minutes to lunchtime, we'll be okay. And your thinking part of your brain goes, it's okay, I am feeling hungry, but I'm okay because I know in five minutes time I'll get to eat. But when we are not calm, this is what happens. The thinking part of our brain opens up and it leaves the feeling part of our brain in charge. And the feeling part of our brain can't think to make a plan. The feeling part of our brain just goes, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm wet, I'm angry, I'm sleepy. That's the feeling part of our brain. Now, what we've got to do, that's what happens when our brain is not calm. And then the feeling part of your brain just goes, ah, and just basically lashes out. But what we've got to do when, to make ourselves calm is what you spoke about, prayer, yoga, meditation, breathing, counting, we just, I'm going to give some more, just, just, we just have to regulate ourselves, so maybe we, remember, we can tap, we can even just bounce a ball, um, but we've got to check with that, that it's not going to disturb anybody else, but we can bounce a ball, we can just maybe color in, we can draw, we can paint, we can do the things that like really give us rhythm, and as we're doing those things, breathing, painting, coloring in, Counting to 10, just calming the thinking part of our brain closes and then it thinks and it can make a plan. So, okay, my friends annoyed me, but that's okay. I can just walk away until I'm calm or I can tell them what they need to do to, to behave a little bit better. Or I can go tell the teacher to help me if my friends don't want to listen. But this is what it is again. So our brain model, thinking part of our brain, we've got to protect it, keep calm so that the thinking part of our brain goes over the feeling part of our brain and when we worried and stressed that's what happens the thinking part of our brain opens up and we can't think properly we can't think properly so our feeling is what tells us what we should be doing and that often doesn't make the right choice we just get ourselves calm and our brain calms again so well done everybody that was beautiful beautiful helping all right let's get me back again here and let's go again. So now how can I get, oh, there we go. Now, the feedback part that I want, and Ennis Class, you are amazing with this, with your book. All you have to do is, this is the only feedback, so pause the video, yeah, have a discussion, everybody. I want Holmes Class, you brilliant with your book as well, and everybody, you can get it to me. What would you like the next head teacher assembly topic to be about? We'd love to hear your feedback. Right, who are stars of the week? Let's go. Gold is Nehara and Yasmin and Ishan and Martina and Jade and David and Stanley and Darsh and Sophia S. And well done, all you gold people. Class champions Zion and Karutika and Sophia S. Well done in Matisse, Mustakim in Picasso, Shreyas in Picasso, Ryan in Picasso, George and Klee, Riley and Klee, Gloria and Klee. Fantastic work. And Sammy and Beckham, Martina and Beckham, Sarah and Beckham, Samina and Ennis. Mevloy and Ennis, fantastic. Nahara and Ennis, Nala and Holmes, Shame and Holmes, Maria V and Holmes, Grange House of Water, amazing. Look at your CC Power, Grange House of Fire. Look at that, 5,909 CC PowerPoint, Grange House of Air, excellent. Grange House of Earth, brilliant. All of us together working as a community, the Grange community, 22,835 CC PowerPoints. Brilliant work. So, 
who were the classy classes? Well, Ellis class revving in at 1,240 CC points. Matisse class, 1,482 points. Classy class, Holmes class. You are just filled with power. Well done, classy class. Term target, we set ourselves a crazy target of quarter of a million CC class charts points this term. Well, look at us. We've got 100. We have now got, if you do the mental maths, 196,244. That's about 4,000 to 200,000. And then another 200, another 22,000. So we've got about 218,000 points. We still need to get 32,000 points. And we have three weeks to get them in. Come on, everybody. We can do it because we are powerful. We are kind. We are loved. We are great. And we made it and we will make it. Real life reindeer coming to our school before Christmas. I cannot wait. We have hamster power, especially in year four at Grange. Let's do ourselves a Grange CC salute. Confidence for myself. Look at our beautiful world around us. Consideration for our amazing planet and everybody in it and all things in it. And let's be great. Let's be Grange. Let's live our lives with confidence and consideration. Let's enjoy the learning ahead. Be safe and happy. Now, at Grange, let's do it like this. Let's learn together. Let's respect each other. Let's achieve our potential. Let's be great. Let's be great.